all I can say is that, uh, yeah, th this makes this makes Homelander look like kindergarten, straight up. Whoa. Um, I almost didn't make this video, but. <laughs> My cousin hit me up. She said, Shad, you got to talk about this show. I'm not going to get into spoilers right now. This is more for the people that have not seen the show. All right. So I'm, I'm going to choose my words very carefully. This is for the people that have not seen the show. If you have not seen this show, watch it now. Get Amazon Prime specifically for this show. I don't even know how to talk about this shit. All right. So I finished the first season of Invincible. And big ups to Q Reviews. Q Reviews put me on. He says, bro, you got to watch this show. So I saw the, the little images of it. I'm like, this is an animated joint. I'm thinking like DC Animation, which is cool. I love DC Animation. But I'm like, I never heard of Invincible. I don't know what this is. It looks like some, I don't know. And it's on Amazon. <clears throat> I watched that first episode and holy shit. All right. When you watch this show, there is an abundance of of WTF moments, holy shit moments. There's even times where I got emotional. I did, y'all. I I have I've never had an animated movie get me emotional besides like Charlotte's Web or something like that. This shit had me in my feelings at times. It grossed me out at times. It. I okay. Listen, I'm not even gonna bother going into the synopsis and all that. Just watch it. I, I think to get the full experience of this show. Watch it. Do not watch any trailer. Just go to Amazon Prime, click on Invincible, hit play, and just get ready to get a bang out of life. <laughs> God damn. Oh, okay, I think only thing I can say, I don't think this is a spoiler really, but only thing I can say is that, okay, if you watch The Boys, Homelander is, Homelander is a motherfucker. All I can say is that, uh... Yeah, th this makes this makes Homelander look like kindergarten. Straight up. Makes Homelander look like kindergarten. Homelander ain't got shit on this person. Watch the show, y'all. I, I got to do a spoiler video. I don't know if I uh, got to get Cousin China in the video, which getting Cousin China on camera is like pulling teeth. I don't know if me and Q Reviews got to do a live. I, listen, I got to talk to somebody about this, goddammit. I, I don't know how to talk about this shit. I need somebody to help me because this shit was intense, and I loved it. This is one of them shows where even after it goes off when it's done with, you keep thinking about it like, damn, that shit was crazy. Now, I know people are going to be comparing it to The Boys, and I'll compare it to The Boys as well. The Boys is a very crazy show as well, and I, and I love The Boys. This shit, I guess because it's animated, it can take it to a no, a whole nother crazy level than the boys couldn't. You know what I mean? So right now, I, I'm going I'm to be honest and say I enjoyed this better than the boys. I, you know, I'm going to keep it real. I enjoyed it better than the boys because it entertained me. It creeped me out at times. There was a lot of shit that I did not see coming. And it got me emotional. Animated movies do not get me emotional. I think the last animated movie made me cry was probably The Lion King, and that was in 1994. Other than that, animated joints don't make me cry. The Disney Pixar joints don't count. That's 3D animation. I'm talking about 2D animation. All right? Because if you, if you want to talk about the Disney Pixar joints, yeah, that's a whole different ballgame. But 2D animation, man, look at here. Watch this. This is probably the most vague review <laughs> on the show that you'll see. But like I said, this is for the people that have not watched it. Watch it. No. And then get back with me, and then I'm going to get the spoiler review out, all right? And that's it, and that's all.